Winter mortality surveys wrapped up last month on mule deer winter ranges in western Wyoming, and early results indicate some of the highest mortality rates seen in several years. With the help of several volunteers, the Wyoming Game and Fish Department conducts annual mortality surveys on the various segments of the Wyoming Range mule deer herd to get a better idea of how winter mortality impacts one of the largest mule deer ranges in the U.S. Wyoming Game and Fish wildlife biologist Gary Fralick oversees the Cokeville Sage Junction survey each year. He says winter began early and made its impact. It started in November uh, with significant snowfall on these winter ranges and uh, shortly in December and early January uh, temperatures warmed, it rained and, and that snow that accumulated in November crusted over and that's what really made the condition so severe because uh, we didn't receive a great amount of snowfall uh, to some degree but uh, uh, it's that crusting that made the movement and distribution of mule deer to food sources uh, much more difficult. They expended a lot of energy getting to those food sources and, and that's really what took its toll. Preliminary results show winter losses of between 45 percent and 60 percent of mule deer fawns in the Sublette deer herd near Pinedale and as high as 75 percent fawn losses in portions of the Wyoming range herd. Some of the worst losses seen in the Wyoming range herd since 1990 when records started being kept. Now, the impacts to hunters will be strung out over the next few years. Basically, a majority of this year's fawn crop will be missing. Hunters should expect to see fewer deer this fall and even a few years out when this year's fawn would be that mature buck that most hunters are looking for. In anticipation of the loss, the Game and Fish proposed more conservative deer hunting seasons in the sublet mule deer herd starting this fall. Managers proposed reducing the overall season length three days, taking away the last weekend of the general season, and eliminated the any deer season that was offered in some hunt areas. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.